Oh, hello and welcome back to uh, the SU base. If you're new here and today happens to be the first time you'd be on this channel, well, this is a family channel. We create content here, motherhood, marriage, about relationships, about life, about God, faith. So literally, it's travel vlogs, uh, family vlogs, cooking vlogs, everything, yeah. So we would love you to stay. So kindly join this family by subscribing. So hit the subscription button to join this family. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for tuning in today. See, my hair is really dirty. So I've been having this on for about a month and a half now. And uh, it's time to get it out. So I'm literally going to get this out and then wash it. And then obviously I'm going to blow dry it and uh, i'm going to put it back in twist for a week or two and then i'm going to braid it myself yeah i braid my own hair nowadays i braid it myself yeah unless i feel lazy then i go to the hairdresser so yeah so this whole video as you've read from the title yeah so i'm going to blow dry my hair but i already have a video that i did which i uh, i you know literally uh vlogged the whole process of how i blow dry my hair and I think I've not done any vlog on my natural hair. I think I've only got one video on my natural hair and that's it. But uh, yeah, so let's just say this is an update on my natural hair and uh, how I've been taking good care of it and how far it has grown and all that. Yeah. So let's just say that before I had my baby, I literally had, my hair was very, very, very hard. Let me just take off the glasses so we can talk. So my hair was very, very hard. So when I say hard, if you're natural, if you have natural hair, you would understand what I mean. It was very hard and uh, it's been almost, let's say more than four years now since I've been on natural hair. Yeah, someone might say, why is your hair not that grown that long? Well, let's just say that I was trying all products, you know. I think one thing that I've learned on my natural hair is to, you know, uh, have patience. For my hair and uh to try just one product for let's say a month or two to see if my hair really loves it then i'll stick to that if it doesn't then obviously i change it and so far i've come to a conclusion that the only shampoo and conditioner that i use are just two brands so the first one is tresemme and conditioner that i use that i've been using i mean ever since i turned natural was is um, i've been using is the ors olive oil professional replenishing conditioner and this is a lifesaver i've been using this all my entire life ever since i turned i transitioned from uh permed hair to natural hair this is what i've been using you can as you can see it's very huge yeah because i've got lots of hair so this is what i use and i've been using this you know as i said ever ever since i turned natural so this and then yeah i went to grab obviously the shampoo so you guys will see the one that i'm using so at the moment i'm using the treasure May two-in-one multivitamin deep cleansing for all hair types literally uh shampoo plus conditioner so this is what i've been using and this is also a lifesaver so i just started using this ever since i uh let's say I, after i had my baby so let's just say it's been 10 months now since i started using this and this is also good so literally today i'm sharing with you guys the products that i use now on my natural hair and i've got also the uh, organics africans best olive oil shampoo so this is what i fair, i usually use before i started using the tresemme this one and it's also mwah, it's also good but uh i've stopped using this i've started using the tresemme because i realized that with the tresemme shampoo and conditioner it makes my hair softer so as i was saying earlier on before i had my baby uh my hair was very hard yeah very very hard so anytime i go to the hairdresser is another drama because i cry <laughs> it's a whole lot <laughs> i don't want to go into it but i'm gonna pop i'm gonna you know after the video i'm gonna show you guys how my my hair was and now how far it has grown yeah so yeah and uh that's what i used and also what i use after i've shampooed my hair conditioned my hair or if i've done a leave-in conditioner or wash my hair i use this all the time and this is my why I, I literally love it because it makes my hair smells good it makes my hair grow and uh 
it's also a lifesaver so this is also the ors olive oil um oil moisturizing hair lotion and it's infused with castor oil for straightening so when i'm straightening my hair before i apply the blow dry on my hair all the time i use this i've got another oil that i use which is the grip seed oil so i use the grip seed oil together with this one i'm also going to pop up the grip seed oil here so you guys will see so i use these two on my hair before i apply any heat on my hair because i don't want my hair to go damaged so that's what i use on my hair so whether i blow dry or i don't blow my i don't blow dry my hair i use this on my hair because it makes my hair smells good and it grows my hair and i love it because it's got castor oil so when it comes to oils i don't use so much oil on my hair you know when you when you transition from permed hair to natural hair if a whole lot of people and a whole lot of videos on youtube are going to tell you use this use that use that listen i'm not here to tell you to use my product i'm using this because this works for me now however when you start uh taking care of your hair one advice that i'll give is try ramp one product because when i started i started using Cantu product and my hair didn't like it so i stopped and then after that i started using uh what's this called share uh share moisture or something like that i've forgotten the brand they're using that it was good trust me and um for some reason i realized that anytime i use it my hair was shading a lot so and was breaking a lot so i stopped using it and uh yeah till then i've been using just these two just uh these two products so these are the ones that i've been using ever since i stopped using the Cantu and also the share moisture this is what i've been using so far till now now there is a new product that i have discovered that makes my hair looks soft 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 so i use this as my leave-in conditioner i also use it just for uh if i want to you know use anything on my hair or my scalp then i just go i just use this and i also use this as a conditioner so it's a three-in-one hair max or a leave-in conditioner or um what else can you use it for so you can use it as a conditioner as a max and also as a leave-in and i use this three for all that and i'm surprised that the price is affordable one also the advice that i'll give is when it comes to your hair don't go spending a lot on expensive products trust me they are not worth it yes i would say they are not because i try some brands i don't want to mention their names because yeah you i don't want to you know destroy someone's business it might work for other people but for me i'm talking from my own experience i would personally say do not waste money on uh expensive hair product i discovered the garnier ultimate blend nourishing hair food this is the banana and share and there's a three in one as i said hair marks you can use this as a condition in a living condition and uh and there's the aloe vera and coconut i love the aloe vera and coconut it smells so good so i've been using these two and these two are my magic ever since i had my baby i've been using these two trust me this you can never go wrong and it's affordable i think it's three pound 99 and uh it's 390 ml and for the price it's good you can use this let's say uh for two months i i think so this is way 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 better than the other ones so i'll say i'll suggest this to you so yeah. use this and this so this is a, a banana and share and they have also the aloe vera and coconut they've got other flavors trust me i think the ones that smells good is these two my hair loves aloe vera and coconuts and also banana and shea. I've been using shea butter all my life, ever since I was born. And apart from these two, one per, one, uh, you might wonder what I use as hair food and that is uh, shea butter. So I have my own mixed shea butter that I use with my secret oils and ingredients that I can share. Yeah. Also got this mixed share butter from a friend of mine who you know sent this out to me and i love it so much i'm gonna leave her link in uh, her link to her instagram page so if you want to order from her this also grows your hair trust me it makes my hair soft it smells good and it grows hair because as i've also been using this on my son's hair and i can see that it makes it you know smells good and it's growing yeah so this is also good but with my own personal share but uh, i'm gonna show you a few oils that i add to it is castor oil i use castor oil every single day 
I use it on my, you know, edges before I go to bed. I use it on my son's hair. And I use lavender oil, almond oil, hope oil. Hope oil, I tend to use that especially when we're in winter. So the winter, when it comes to winter, you know, your natural hair looks, will look very dry. And you'd want some oil just to make it look, you know, very moisturized. And apart from the fact that I use my leave-in conditions, I add castor oil, olive oil, almond oil, and jojoba oil. That's so these are the things that I use on my hair. As you can see, I don't use much. And as I said, don't go spending a lot on natural hair products. Uh, for this price, I don't have it on, so I can't really tell. But this one is very huge. It's uh, one liter, and it's eight pound ninety nine. And I've, it can last for two or three months, I would say. This. And I also have this, which was a gift. Uh, this avocado and manuka honey conditioning spray. So this nourishes and it smooths your hair. So it's for normal dry and damaged hair, nourishes hair to leave it very smooth and soft. And this, I use it every day. If my hair is dry, I just spray this. Uh, if I have to put my hair, wigs. So but before I do that, I spray this on my hair and then I put on the rake and uh, I put this on also on my braids. So these are the products that I use. I don't use much, as I said, on my on my hair. I'm going to leave the link to uh, the lady who, whom I purchased this from in my description box. So you guys can also purchase. Trust me. You guys, when you go to her page, you know what I mean. She's got lots of hair and whatever ingredients she put here really works on my hair. Apart from my own secret share butter mix, which also works on my hair. So trust me, you need to purchase this. Yeah, this is good. And uh, yeah, that's all. So I'm going, I'm just going to take these off and I'm going to, you know, wash this. Uh, I'll wash it in the evening. I'm just going to remove this off and then I have other things to do. So I'm just going to continue to do them. And then obviously in the evening, I'll wash it before I go to bed. I'll see if I can vlog that for you guys. But these are the products that I use. So few products, but it works. Good, good, good. And it makes my hair grow. Yeah, it makes your hair also softer. So you got to try these products. Garnier, yeah. It's a lifesaver. It's just £3.99 if you're in the UK. I don't know about other countries. But yeah, and I purchased these from, from Superdrug. That's where I got these from. If I don't, if they don't have it, I just go to Boots, and uh, it's the same price as well. Sometimes they bring it in Aldi and uh, Lidl, and it's the same price as well over there. So yeah, just uh, the price is just the same everywhere. So yeah, and so right after this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I blow dry my hair. You guys have already seen how I blow dry my hair in a previous video. I don't want this video to be that long. So I want you guys to go and watch how I blue dry my hair and uh, the products I used on my hair. If I want to straighten my hair, I use the African thread. So this is what I use. Or I pull them in twists and then I leave it on for a month or two or cornrows. Or I pull them in cornrows and then that's it. I put them in protective styles and yeah, off I go. So this is all for today. Watch this video to this far. Kindly like the video. Share this video with your family and friends. Subscribe if you're new here. And until next time in our next vlog, we'll say bye for now. We love you so much. Keep spreading love and keep spreading peace. Yeah, so ciao. All right, so guys, as you can see from the video, at this point, my hair is out and it's very dirty. So after two months, keeping the twist on is really dirty. So it needs to be washed. And yes, I'm going to apply my two-in-one 
shampoo and uh, conditioner by Tresemme, the one that you guys saw earlier on and then obviously i'm going to blow dry it right after so i'm just going to take you through the process how i blow dry my hair and the products i use so as you can see from this video i use the grip seed oil two in one i use the aloe vera and coconuts by garnier and i have this thread here which i'm going to apply on my hair right after i blow dry my hair i also have my detangler brush and uh yeah the grip seed oil and i have my uh, avocado and manuku oil as well so here i'm applying my garnier aloe vera and coconuts on my hair before i blow dry it so i apply this one first and then i add the grip seed two in one you know oil on my hair and then i blow dry it so i've already done parts of it because i don't want this video to be that long i've done almost all the parts and uh, the one left is what my hands is holding now. it's what my hands is holding now so i'm literally applying uh it's from the ends upwards to uh, my scalp uh, i'm now going to apply the olive oil by ors uh grip seed oil heat defense on my hair and then i'm going to blow dry it right after so I'm applying it. You just need just a little amount on your hair. You don't need that much. So yeah, that's what is on my hair. I'm now applying my blow dry now. So uh, you start from the ends, as I said, and then upwards you go. I'm going to leave the link to where I purchased this. I think I purchased this from Amazon and uh, it was on sale at that time. I know that Amazon is having a promotion at the moment, so I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you guys can also purchase this. That's if you're interested in it. I'm done now, and uh, obviously, I'm letting out all the twist out, and um, yeah, I'm going to blow dry for the last time, and then I'm going to uh, put on the thread to uh, put it in a protective style, leaving it on for two weeks maximum, and then I'm going to braid it myself. So yeah, as you can see from the video, that's all my natural hair. My edges, that part is gone, of course, and it's all for the fact that I always tend to do, most of the times when I do cornrows, it's too tight. So, um, you know, that's the reason why my, my edges are gone, but I'm growing it now applying my castor oil and my rosemary oil which are the two oils that i've really researched about and discovered that it really grows uh hair that quick especially the edges so that's what i apply on my hair before i go to bed every day and uh i seem it seems to work on my hair so i would really recommend castor oil and rosemary oil so that's the last time i'm applying the blow dry on my hair you don't need to you know hire the blow dry as i said heat is not good for your hair it's a no-no so there is a bad heat and there is a good heat the good heat is obviously before you braid your hair you would want your hair to be straightening before you apply the braids on and of course when you go to the hairdresser they would have to apply the blow dry so you can do it yourself from home and then whilst you do it from home you can lower the blow dry because when you go to the hairdresser sometimes yes it's too you know uh higher so you can do it yourself and then after that you just go to the hairdresser and then you do your braids i'm applying the shea butter mixed by dorex as i said i'm going to leave her link into her instagram page so if you want to purchase or patronize from her you can do so as i said it really works on my hair it makes my hair grow just as, as much as I have my own secret ingredients that I have on my in my share butter mix as well. So I apply these two on my hair. And uh, as I as you can see from the video, I'm now applying the thread on my on my hair. So uh, what you do is you start from the roots and then downwards coming down and then obviously you go it all around on your hair and then you put on the thread. Uh, you know, it, you just have to seal it at the ends and then that's it. So I'm going to do the same thing for all the parts of my hair and then we'll cover it 
with my hair bonnet but before then i'm going to apply some of my you know oils that i put on my hair and then obviously once i'm done i put on my hair bonnet and then go to bed so with one thing about natural hair is that you don't want your hair to you know um mess to be messed up by on the pillow so you always have to put on a sitting recommended as i know or as uh most natural hair you know people would say it's best for you to use a sitting hair bonnet on your hair before you go to bed or if you have your pillow is a hair, your pillow is sitting that's fair enough however make sure that your hair is well covered with sitting bonnet before you go to bed so yeah as you can see from the video i'm applying the thread so i started from the roots and then came down 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 and then up to the ends and as you can see it's done so yeah this is how to do it uh mostly if it's done by another person i would possibly say that i would have let them do it more uh the thread would be more on my hair because with that with that one it lasts longer i'm going to show you a picture of the one that i'm trying to say however this is how i do it because i don't know how they do the other one but i'm going to pop up a picture on the screen so you guys will see how that one is done but yeah that's what i meant so I've done, I'm done. I'm yet. Uh, I'm almost done with the hair, and uh, I've applied the thread and this all. I'm done now. So I'm just going to apply my bow bow oil, and then that's it. As you can see, it's very easy. So this is how I put my hair in, and then I put my rake on. If I don't, I don't know how to braid cornrows. So this is how I do it. Sometimes I put it just in normal twist, and then I off I go. So I'm applying the Bao Bao oil by OSR Olive Oil. Uh, yeah, and I'm done. I'm just going to, you know, uh, cover it by, cover it with my hair bonnet and then that's it. And then I go to bed. So this is all for today. This is how I keep my hair protected for two weeks. You can choose to let it last for a month or two like what I did before. But yeah, it's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to keep this on for two weeks because um uh, stacy bay's birthday is coming up very soon so i don't want to be keeping this on this on my hair so i would have to have another hairstyle so i'm just gonna put on the hair bonnet and then off we go to bed thank you guys for watching to this far subscribe if you're new here and like and share the video thank you and we love you Expanding feels like love. Even though we're kind of nervous, together we'll be strong.